By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we are going to dive into the core set Alpha with some Alpha 40 leak magic for you. Now, if you're interested in the specifics of this rule set and you're not familiar with it, then please check the description below where I've uh, got a link to the rule book so you can find all the rules and all the specifics. It's a format designed by the Northern Paladins. And um, as you can see, I've got top quality recording of some of these matches. I'm very, very excited to show them to you. And in this first match of this series, we're going to look at a mono red deck with Alpha Shivan Dragons in it. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. It's gonna blow your mind. And that is piloted by Niels, and he is taking on Dion, and Dion is playing with a red-green aggro deck the way it was meant to be, right, with those colors. So, um, you know what, let's just dive in to the deck deck straight away. So let's start with the deck of Dion. And here we see the deck of Dion. I mean, this deck is brutal. This deck is just, I think this video is maybe it's just gonna take a minute because this deck is so aggressive. Look on the right side of the deck picture. I see one, two, three, I see six giant groves. So that's absolutely sick. And then he's playing with a lot of burning here as well, right? Fireball, three disintegrates, three bolts, also playing with the vice. I mean, if he's on the play and you know he has some kind of insane opener with, for example, also the beautiful Alpha Mox, he could do, you know, Alpha Mox, you know, Mox Ruby, Vice use a green source to play a script sprites or Lanower elves and then next turn he can for example attack with the script sprites he can pump it with a double giant grove the vice is going to deal damage and that means that his opponent will be his life total will be cut in half before even really starting with the match so this could be a little bit insane you know and, and maybe by the way you're wondering now why is Dion allowed to play with more than four copies of a card that's because we're playing alpha and we're playing Alpha 40 League Rules. So again, in the League Rules, there are certain cards that you can um, play multiples of, above four, with other cards you can only play three, etc. So it's, it's quite an interesting balanced rule set. And if you wanna know more about that, uh, check the description below, because there you can find uh, a PDF file where the Northern Paladins have laid everything out exactly, and also the reasoning behind uh, the choices that they made. And uh, I must say, I'm really impressed with this document. So if, you, if you're interested in this format, I advise you to have a look in the description below and find the link to that document and to the website of the Northern Paladins. So getting back to this deck of uh, Dion Dion, this is an absolute killer deck, man. I hope, Niels, that your deck can do something to kind of slow Dion down. So let's now take a look at the list of Niels. And here we see the deck of Niels, and I mean, look at those Shivan Dragons. Look at those beautiful, beautiful Shivan Dragons. He, he's playing with six Alpha Shivan Dragons. Wow, that's, just, that's crazy. I do think looking at this deck, it's obvious, right? It's mono red, it's burn, it's pound town, it's Shivan Dragon time. He's playing with Mana Flare to try to get those Shivans out. I think this is one of the worst possible uh, matches for Niels. I mean, this is going to be so painful because, yes, you know, if he's got a good start, he can kind of ramp out a Mana Flare quickly. The problem is that Dion, his deck is always fast. With the Giant Growth, he can always deal a lot of damage fast. And he's also playing with X Spells. He's also playing with Disintegrate and Fireball. So the Mana Flare, yes, it's working a little bit better for Niels, but Niels is probably going to get behind very quickly, be kind of low on life, then play the Mana Flare to plan to cast you know, a big burn spell or one of his beautiful Shivans. But by that time, Dion probably has enough mana with the help of the Mana Flare to kind of burn Niels out. So I think Niels, beautiful deck, absolutely fantastic, um, but you're gonna have a really tough time playing against Dion. But I am rooting for you because you've got six Shivans. You've got such a cool deck, of course, I'm rooting for you, but <laughs> it's, it's gonna be, I wouldn't, nothing is impossible, but it's it's next to impossible, or maybe I'm missing something. Anyway, um, this is the deck of Niels. We've already looked at uh, the deck of Dion, man. These decks, wow, absolutely stunning. Um, let's just go to the match and, and see how this is going to end up. Is it going to be a quick game as I think it, it's going to be, or 
you know, is Niels, is, can he, is he able to find kind of a way out of the pressure of the young and will he be able to kind of, I don't know, maybe win a game, maybe even win the match. Let's find out. Let's go to the first Alpha 40 League match. Niels versus Dion. Game number one. Here we go. And we've got the Sheevan Dragon player Niels who's sitting on the left with his six Sheevan Dragons. And we've got the Giant Grove Red Green Aggro player Dion sitting on the right. And I mean, the question is, are these games going to go as fast as I expect them to go? Or will Niels find some way to stabilize the board and get his Sheevan Dragons out? I guess he just lost a die roll, so I think Dion is going to start. And the thing with Alpha 40 is you can only take a mulligan if you have only lands, so seven lands, or if you have no lands. So it's not like the London mulligan rule where you get to choose. No, if you've got a no lander, you can just draw seven again, or all lands, you can draw seven. If you just have one land or just six lands and a crappy card, you have to keep them. And uh, the cool thing as well as with Alpha 40 League, if you're on the play, you get to draw a card. And look at this opener by the young here, Black Vice and Alana Were Elves passing turn. Oh man, this is looking really bad already for Niels. I mean, does he have a bolt? At least he's got a bolt kind of slowing Dion down and losing a card up in his hand. So that helps with that Vice out. What's, what next can he do? Okay, there's another Alana Were Elf. Take some damage from um, the Black Vice. So he's going down to 15. Okay, there's a Fireball. Maybe I would have kept that Fireball a little longer. And there's a Scripps Prize because, for example, later in the game, you could maybe take out two smaller creatures. On the other hand, the problem with that is, you know, if he takes out two smaller creatures, probably Dion has like a Giant Grove or something. And, and now he was stepped out. He didn't have any green mana to use a Grove. Here's an attack and a Giant Grove. There he goes, 4-4. Four, four. Remember, Alpha 40 League Rules, there is no stack. So it has quite an effect on the match. Okay, he's got a lot of mana. No Sheevan Dragon? Man, this feels bad. I wanted to see a Sheevan. I mean, he's got eight mana now, thanks to the Mana Flare. There is another Giant Grove taking four more damage. And I think exactly, Dion is taking some mana burn here. I believe he forgot earlier, so he's taking the burn for that. Oh, he is not. Okay, I'm not quite sure. I think he should take the extra point from last time he cast the Giant Grove. Exactly, he should be on 18. So Niels is now very low. Oh, this is sweet. Mana Flare and a Giant Grove. Bolt to the face, gonna be on three. Let there be something cool in there. Remember, he's got two mana flares, so he can now actually cast a Sheevan with only two red mana. Cast that Sheevan, do it! Oh, there's a Shatter and a Disintegrate, taking care of the Vice and of the pick of um, the, uh, the Scrib Sprites. But I was hoping to see a Sheevan Dragon here. Oh man, okay, he's also casting a Soaring. Yeah, he just got, he just got tons of mana, right? So he can do that. There is a Wheel of Fortune by the Yum. Just play the Yum, who cares? Yeah, there's the Disintegrate, yeah. Oh, that's so bad. Oh man, Power Search, really cool by the way to see that card, but also that Sheevan Dragon. I was so hoping to see a Sheevan. Okay, so it's one game up for the Yum. I'm kind of praying to the magic gods right now. I'm praying for Niels. I'm hoping to see a lot of Sheevan Dragons in game two. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that done. So these players are gonna shuffle up and we'll catch back up with them in game number two. Game number two, and here we go. Players shuffling up. And uh, yeah, I mean, Niels, man, at least you're on the play. And Dion was very lucky with that Mox Ruby. I guess the scores aren't reset, by the way. We see Niels is still on three and um, Dion is still on 18. And there you see players resetting the scores. Again, a quick vice. So he's gonna drop to 18. Then there is a bolt. He should probably drop to 17, by the way, because he draws, he can draw when he's on the play. But he plays the lightning bolt before he takes damage. Okay, then it makes sense. Anyway, sorry for that, kind of had to Calculate the numbers in my head. There is a double Lanawer Elf and one is bolted immediately. And there we see a fireball on the other one. So the strategy here is really to just burn everything out. There is a Scrib Sprites land number four in a pass turn again. And again, that early pressure, I'm expecting a giant grove here just to deal four. 
No, it's just going to be one damage. So he's on 16, which is actually not too bad. I mean, he's got five mana. He needs a mana flare. And of course, he needs to play out a Sheevan. There is another attack. There's the Giant Grove. Going to go to 12. And there is a Shatter on the Vice, but we're not seeing any Sheevan Dragons. Remember, this is a 40-card deck with six Sheevan Dragons. Where are the Sheevan Dragons? Another Grove going to go to eight. I mean, this is going wrong, completely wrong. Come on. Maybe he's got a Sheevan in hand, by the way, but he's just missing a land. He needs six mountains, right? Or he needs a Mana Flare. Yeah, he's pointing at he's pointing at his lands. He's like, I need one more. This is so frustrating. Well, it's also frustrating for me. No, he's going to go on one. I don't want to see this. Come on. Sheevan Dragon on the board. This is it. Now we get the action. He's going to block. He's going to eat that script sprites alive. He's going to feed him. Oh, I'm a dragon. I'm going to eat it. Or not. Or he's going to chaos orb on the Sheevan dragon. Okay. Are you going to do that? Then I definitely want to want to flip. Is he doing it? He is doing it. Okay. So I'm going to... Probably put it on slow. I'm going to put it on slow-mo here. So Dion is going to flip here. Please miss the flip. Please miss the flip. Please miss the flip. Please miss the flip. Oh, it's a hit. Beautiful. Well done, Dion. Good for you. Buy a cake. Oh, man, Niels, sometimes life goes this way. You've lost this, but I mean, you've got the cool deck, man. You've got the Sheevans. You're almost stabilized. I kind of feel like... If you would have drawn into Mana Flare, you know, at any any other given time, you would have you would have taken this one. And yeah, it's uh, it's frustrating. But you know what? The nice thing about Magic, you just shuffle up and you can play the game again. Thank you uh, both of you for bringing these beautiful decks to the table, especially Niels, man. Six Sheevan Alpha, Alpha Sheevan Dragons. It's absolutely insane. But also Dion's deck, absolutely beautiful. And um, I want to give a, a big thank you, by the way, to Dion because he recorded this. So thank you very much. Beautiful, beautiful games. Alpha 40 League. Actually, now, if you want to see more Alpha 40 League, I have a nice playlist. Uh, there's probably an info card popping up right now. You can click on there and you can find out more Alpha 40 League matches. If you would like to see more Alpha Magic on the channel, leave a comment, by the way. And, uh, and maybe I'll, I'll put some more matches online. I, I really enjoy looking at these. The cards are absolutely beautiful. I played a little bit of, uh, of Alpha 40 League myself as well with borrowed cards, but still it was a super experience. Um, and yeah, that's just absolutely great. Um, I would like to thank you for watching another episode right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And if you want to help the channel, the first thing you can do if you're not a subscriber yet is subscribe and hit that bell. And if you've done all that already, then what you can do now is like this video, that helps leave a comment and share this on your socials. All those things are completely free and it helps me to you know, get the channel uh, to grow, uh, get me to create my content, You know, all that really, really helps and it's completely free. So I would really appreciate it if you would do that. And there's one last thing that you can do and that is you can become a patron of the channel and that already starts with one dollar there's an info card popping up right now and that will take you to the timmy talks patreon page and there you can read all about it and the cool thing is if you join the patreon program you also get to join the timmy talks discord uh, you get to join the timmy talks tournaments that i organize to thank my channel members and patrons so you know we just I, I organize special things for them just to, to thank them for their support and you can be part of that as well if you want to of course and last but not least your name will be mentioned in the end scroll how cool is that so at the end of every video your name will be there in the end scroll talking about that let's take a look at our amazing fantastic wunderbar channel members and patrons of timmy talks here we go Oh, <laughs> 
Ikitus, Ikitus, Somba, Kazi. 